Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion. All right, guys. So, Alpha 12 Stable finally, finally, finally came out. And we're not in it yet. <laughs> we're still in the experimental. And I'll tell you why. There is good reason why. The reason why is because the Project Eden map, we're still on the experimental version of the Project Eden map. Now, by the time y'all see this video, I'm hoping that the stable version of the map will be released and we'll be able to start a new one. So, as of right now, that is what I'm waiting on. Uh, and I do want to apologize for missing yesterday's video, guys. Uh, it... It got chaotic, it got hectic, things happened, and I just ran out of time. Ran out of time by the end of the day. What is this? Ew, there's a new tab. I like you. Okay. Anyway, hold on. Oh, my oxygen's off because I don't have any oxygen. Hold on, let me go get some oxygen. So, what I'm going to do is basically, depending on how long it takes uh, for the next, um, what am I trying to say, for the map to come out, however long that takes, we're just going to kind of goof off here in the experimental version. We're going to fly around in space. We're going to see if we can't find stuff. We're just going to, you know, go do things. And I think that's just, you know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go explore, see what's out there, see what's what. Uh, I had some people tell me that there are CVs in space that you could possibly take over and use. So I'm kind of interested to see what uh, what's out there. Just for future reference, that way I know, hey, there's a... CV up here. I don't have to go crazy with trying to build one. You know, I can bring stuff up, this and that. So that's kind of what we're going to do today. We're going to go explore. We're going to go look. We're going to try to find things. We'll go ahead and turn that off and coast a little bit. So anyway, guys, those of you who have played the experimental and who have started playing the stable version, give me your opinions on it. Are we liking it? Is there good? Is there bad? Is it still buggy? Uh, does anybody have anything to say? So far, experimental for me, buggy. Is it expected? Yes, 100% expected. I'm hoping that some of the stuff that I saw, found, and all that kind of stuff will get cleaned up, wrapped up, and be taken care of by the time... Uh, oh, it's a cobalt asteroid... By the time I get into the stable version. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Okay, so we've already been to those small vessels. Okay, we got things over here. Let's go this way. Pretty sure I know what that is. We're going to kind of get over here close to it, but I'm pretty sure that's like one of those drone swarm deals. Drone scout. Yep. I wonder if... The, no, no, they were talking about crashed ones, right? See, I don't remember if they were referring to those or if they were referring to the crashed ones. Huh. I don't know, a little drone scout wouldn't be too hard to take out. Just zap it a couple of times and you would have a rough body of a ship. Here we go. All right. So now one of the things that we had just saw a bit ago, whenever I hit the P button, the station services, 
I am excited to see if we can use these and see how well this works. Uh, you can only access the station service when seated in a cockpit and when the vessel is not moving. Okay, so you basically got to pull up and dock, if you will, in order for it to work. That makes sense. It does. Well, I am really, really hoping that because of that, we'll, uh, that will add a new layer, a new depth to the game, having additional stuff. Very, very excited to see things like that. Now, what I'd like to know, if anybody does know, is these stations, these services, stuff like that, is there any any way, because I haven't messed with or played or really talked to anyone about them, um, is there any way that they can be incorporated more into a multiplayer game? And what I mean by that is if... Uh, let me get out here. Is the uh, the is there a way you can make the station services to where they're like faction specific? Like, can you give them to players at like somehow, or is it only only like an NPC thing? Like, y'all know what I'm saying. You know, you can f force a POI under, like, say I took over a station and put a core in it. Would the station services still work for people outside of outside of my group or even with my group? Does anybody know? Has anyone tried it? Because I'm kind of interested because it'd be cool to have a station in a in a faction and have that faction set up to like, to anyone in an alliance, they could, you know, refuel, resupply, that type of thing, or, you know, does that only work for, uh, for the NPCs? Can you, can you not do that? I don't know how any of that works. So if anyone has any information on that, please let me know. Cause I am quite interested in it. I can see like so many different levels of, of new gameplay as far as like a multiplayer thing go, if you could do that. Because my vision is if you could take over one, you would have to somehow store stuff on it, if, if that makes sense. Like, ammo and fuel and things like that and then you could sell that stuff to people but you would have to manually stock it see something like that would give a multiplayer game depth because then you could have more of a uh neutral trader um style faction type thing going on y'all know what i'm saying Copper Astrid. Oh, so I see how this is working when I... Ew. Okay, okay. I finally figured that out. That's nice. So I just have to mouse over it and it will highlight them now. That's spectacular. Now I got to see how far that works. I'm learning things. And apparently we are way out here in space. It's going to take a minute to get back. That's all right, though. That is completely fine. Oh, and guys... All of y'all out there, if anyone 
is looking for a server to play on, be sure to check my descriptions in the, the uh, under this video. I do have a link to my Discord. If you'll join my Discord, I do run a uh, an Imperion server. So if anyone is looking for a new server home, please, please, please hit us up, get in the Discord, ask about it. Like I said, it won't be up until the stable map releases, but we are always welcoming new players. Uh, it's a little bit of a mixture of PvP, PvE. It's, you know, a little bit of everything. So, if you're looking for a good place to hang out, uh, good community, all that stuff, be sure to hit me up. We would love to have a couple extra people playing. Wheel. Okay, so apparently we're going to have to get a little bit closer before it pops up. I want to say I was told it's like between one and a half and two and a half kilometers, but I'm not 100% sure here. So we're just going to kind of play with things and see what happens. Yeah, so far nothing. There it is. That's all it took. A little under three kilometers. Okay. Well, what else do we got out here? We've got we've got several small vessels. Got one here, two over there. Let me see if this one's any different than the last two we found. Oh, throw the brakes on. Hey, I think I know this one. This is the one that has the uh, the warp drive in it, right? Oops. Ah. I turned it off. Turned off my jumpy jets. No, no, no. This is a different looking one. And I still don't have an EVA. <sighs> okay. We'll eat a couple snacky bars real fast. <sighs> There we go. All right, so what do we got here? I just have, yep, there's something new that appeared. All right, we need to go over here on the back side of the planet and we'll see what we got going over here. Go a little faster, please. There we go. So anyway, I am like digging so much stuff. I'm really digging the way space looks now. Space looks a lot more popular or like populated, I should say. Not really popular, but populated. It doesn't look as empty as it did before. And yes, I know space is kind of empty because you're going to have, you know, millions of miles in between things. But for gameplay sake, you know. I think right now the way we've got it set up, or they've got it set up, because I haven't done nothing, is uh, pretty good. I am liking where everything is at.
Well, we're almost there. Almost there. Wondering if this is going to be the, uh, no, no, there's a destroyed small vessel. Okay, so, so far I have not seen any destroyed CVs up here. Not saying there's none, I'm just saying I haven't found any yet. But we have found, this is what, the fourth destroyed small vessel? So, there are going to be, there is, like, you know, you're going to have parts up here for the Nest V. That's the same, yeah, that's the same type that we just saw. Okay. I wonder if I come this way, if we'll find anything down here. Let's go down here and venture. Let's go explore. Yeah, let's see if we can find anything down here. Wheel. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not really seeing anything down here. Yeah, I like how you have a little green nebula, a little purple nebula, another couple little purple ones, another green one. There's an orange one over there. Yeah, I like that. I like it. I think the only thing that they could do, they could add to the space field, which I don't know if it would be hard to do or if it'd be easy to do or if it's even possible to do. I'd, I'd assume it's possible, but... Like, off in the distance, put, like, a comet going by or, you know, something like that. Just kind of add a little bit of movement to it to keep it from being quite so static. That's about the only thing I would say that could improve it right now. At least from what I've seen. All right. Well, from what I can find so far, that's almost the only thing left, unless there's stuff over by those other planets, which I would assume there are at some point. So we might have to swing over there and check on that. All right, I'm going to assume this is probably another drone scout, but it might be something big. It might be like a swarm or something. I don't know. I don't know how hard the space play field is. So far, it doesn't seem like it's packed too, too densely with bad guys. It's just a couple. Any second now, we'll be there. Ooh. 
Another drone scout. All right. Okay, well, I say we go over here to this planet. We'll check around it. We'll see if there's anything there. Uh, we've got that moon down there, and we've got that moon up there as well. So, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the layout of any of this stuff. I was just told I could find things, so I'm looking. Hopefully, we can find some stuff. That way we kind of have a rough idea of what to look for, what to expect in the next go around. Oh, and I heard there's going to be even more goodies on the, uh, on the next map, whenever I update. So looking forward to that as well. Okay. We're not seeing anything over here. going to get a little bit closer. Okay, nothing's coming to me from that one, so let's go in this direction. And we'll see what's over here at this one. Now, I might have already found everything up here. I'm not 100% sure. It'd be nice if there was something, some sort of like scan, some sort of something. You know, kind of like how when you open the map and it tells you you have X amount of resource deposits and so forth and so forth. It'd be, uh, it'd be really nice if they had something that said, hey, there's, you know, X amount of anomalies in space you found so many I don't know if that'd be hard to program or not but that would be like a super awesome feature right there or even if it was something like hey you had to scan each sector like three or four times in different areas before it would give a readout or something, you know, kind of like a triangulation type thing. I don't know. I don't know. These are just ideas and thoughts that are coming through my head. I'm just throwing stuff out out there. It sounds good. It sounds cool. Yeah, we are just not finding anything out here. That's a cool looking little moon. Maybe we should go check out this little moon. I just want to see what it looks like on the surface. Because it got that little blue tinge to it, but it's orange and it has all the little crack lines. Or I don't I don't know I I just called them crack lines I don't know what they're fault lines riverbeds uh whatever the weird little lines on it they look interesting whatever it is maybe those are like valleys or canyons or something let's go see is that green. There might be a little bit of green right there on the map, too. Hmm. And the plot thickens.
All right, so now everything looks blue and gray. Okay, we got some resources out here. What resources do we got here? Been taxed. Was that iron? No, that's cobalt. Magnesium, titanium, neo, and promethium. Okay. Well, having some supplies of neo is always good. Magnesium right there. How big is this planet? It's not super big. There's a handful of things up there to the north. We might have to sh shoot around to the north. I hit a button. Hmm. Fun, fun, fun. Let's see what resources we got. Bye, rocket drone. Bye, rocket drone. I did it again. Hold on, does that... No, just when I turn. Okay, sorry. Having a brain fart here, guys. Like I said, I am totally exhausted at this point from all the stuff I had going on. Oh, it's been a crazy couple of days. Crazy, 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 I tell you. Oh, okay. So many things. Okay. So far, it just seems like it's just going to be resources. There's not going to there's going to be a few POIs, but there's 
There you go. Oh, it shot me. I just wanted to see who you were. Crash drone carrier, huh? Okay, that sounds cool. I wonder if that's what they were referring to. Because I was told that there are guns, but you could get in there somewhere without getting shot. I bet you that's what it is. I bet that's what it is, guys. Okay, so I think... I think that's what I'd be looking for whenever we come back. Now, the question is, is it an actual... Yeah, I bet you it's a base. I bet it's a base. All right, guys. Well, we flew around space. We went to a moon. We have found what appears to be a ship. I don't know. I don't know if it's a CV ship or if it's like a base ship, but I almost guarantee you that there will be parts on that thing because if it's a crash, if it's a base and it's a crash ship, you know, we'll probably find like thrusters and maybe a warp, stuff like that. So that is a very, very, very interesting find. But anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Hopefully, by the time I get ready to record tomorrow, the new map will be up and we'll start fresh. But we will see. We will see. But that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors keep on surviving.